Well, I've always been interested in whether the death penalty had a deterrent effect on violent crimes, particularly murder. And New Zealand provides a wonderful little case study of whether there is such an impact. Um, back in the last century, in the middle of the century, New Zealand didn't plan to do this, but we ran an experiment where we stopped capital punishment, we then reintroduced it, and then we finally stopped the death penalty in 1958. And so that provides us the opportunity to look at two populations, Māori and Pākehā, over that time, because we have the information, we're able to look at whether their murder rates changed over that time. We found that uh, what happened with the Māori population is that, as you might expect, if capital punishment was going to have an impact, you took away capital punishment, the murder rate increased. But then, when we reintroduced the death penalty, the murder rate stayed much the same. And then when we took away the death penalty, the murder rate, again, stayed pretty much the same. So we've got three points of change. One of them fits with our assumption that maybe the death penalty is inhibiting, stopping the, the rate of murder. When we looked at the Pākehā murder rate, no change no significant change, I should say, over any of those three transition points. I found it fascinating because you're able to say, despite a lot of people having very strong opinions about the death penalty, the evidence doesn't suggest that it makes a difference to homicide rates. So if you are a fan of the death penalty, then really you're looking for a rationalisation coming from a different area than the numbers.